Well, good evening. Kind of up in a little area on Mull that um, we had hoped to see some shorty at Arles. Um, and we did. Um, a little bit too dark uh, for any photography. And also, um, probably not good enough to catch them anyway these days. Um, we got some really good views of hen harriers. But anyway, landscape photography wise, there is a potential tomorrow morning where we are, there's a viewpoint down to a couple of locks. Now, I think that the best of the light that we've had uh, over the last couple of days is probably going to be it for the next day or so. I think tomorrow is supposed to be pretty gnarly, um, pretty overcast, and certainly some heavy rain later in the afternoon. Um, but hopefully get out first thing tomorrow morning and maybe do something from a high viewpoint with these uh, locks. So about half an hour ago, I got up still quite dark just to take a look at the light which there wasn't a lot of if any in fact there was none but there was a little bit of an atm atmospheric conditions going on i'm going to be quick because you might be able to hear that um i thought i'll grab a coffee come back out again whenever the at least it's a bit lighter if not there's no light to see if we can get an image of these lakes and i've come back outside the van you can probably see behind me we're completely shrouded in So I think it's time for back to the van for a second cup of coffee and a bit more processing. Oh, here it comes. Quick, back. Oh, it's horrible again. I'm thinking panorama, but I'm also thinking I need to get inside out of the wet. Typical, just got set up, rain come on. Ah, Scotland. So the rain was just too crazy to carry on doing that pano shot. I'll throw up what I had got before, um, well I'd got, thinking that maybe the light would maybe come, but it just didn't. Um, so we're now sort of driving around the island, picking up a bit of 4G, doing a little bit of work. And it's one of those days where it's not constant heavy, heavy rain, it's kind of drizzle, mist. I, I love these sort of conditions kind of when you're driving through forests and driving through mountainous areas just to get that kind of gradient of, of light. Um, but the challenge I've kind of set myself today is can I actually make a couple of images in these in these kind of conditions, these sort of wet conditions now, it should be possible. Um, it all depends on kind of where we're going to be and how accessible it's going to be in terms of, because we are just doing a bit of a driving day today, but I've just been out with a camera there in a little 4G spot while I'm doing a bit of work, just been out there for five minutes because there was just you can always tell when the lights kind of coming through and i sort of ran outside to see whether there was anything a little bit of play with intentional camera movement um but always a chat always good to challenge yourself in less than ideal conditions and today are less than ideal conditions so we'll see what we can come up with i'm hoping to put together a little bit of a uh, collection um of images from this trip um basically just very simple square format trees um, hopefully come up with maybe 30, 25, 30 images. Um, so just square format and just of trees. So obviously on days like today, especially when I'm running around with the X-T2 and the 18 to 135 handheld, I'm kind of looking for those sorts of scenarios. And I've spoke of this many times, the ability to overlay that one, one to one format allows me then to see that um, uh, while I'm framing up my shot. The other thing that the, the conditions like this do is they actually bring out the stronger saturation in the colors and if we can find some maybe some greens and some yellows um, some ambers maybe some purple some heather just that dampness brings out some of those conditions so anyone's guess i doubt i'll use the tripod today it'll be a lot of roadside jumping out the van going and grabbing something jumping back in again should be fun <coughs> Sometimes you just got to admit defeat. It's been a very wet day today. And while I have managed to bimble about a little bit with the camera, not really anything worth worth shouting home about. So it's been mostly a van day today. But these things happen. These things happen. Anyway, we're parked up now um, for the night. Potential golden eagles, if the rain lays off. 
and also potential otters we've got a tip off that there may be a mother and a cub in this area so who knows but no photos I guess we live to fight another day something about fat ladies singing or something or anyway just I was doing a bit of editing on the iPad and I thought that rain sounds like it's kind of subsided a little bit open the window look there's potential and where there's potential get your ass outside I say let's go see what we can find so quite a difficult landscape to photograph well this particular spot here it's very very open very wide um, and also the light is falling on the far side of the island. Um, I'd love to be photographing behind me here where the mountains are, but there's a, a wire fence that I know kind of carries on around. I've been around here before in one of my previous vlogs, the one that Nicola didn't pick me up in, um, whenever I was sort of photographing up here, because of course I'd love to get the mountain there. I'm not sure whether with the way the thicker bank of clouds here so whether there's gonna be a light on the mountain difficult so what drew my eye down here was just these sort of lighter coloured reeds um, very low tide so quite messy but there's the odd bit of sort of spectral light coming through so I've set up a composition on the 18 to 135 horizontal and we'll just wait and see whether any light pops through but yeah might not be much going on from here Well, that'll teach me to try to be a wildlife photographer. <laughs> Just after I had kind of explained that the situation was, well, the landscape was quite a difficult one just because of the flatness, I kind of set up a composition, fired off uh, a couple of test shots, and then thought, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll wait around here and see what happens. It looked like the light might play ball, and once the light came out, I'd be able to sort of maybe fine tune the composition. Well, literally 30 seconds later otter popped up so we thought okay let's we haven't seen an otter on this trip yet so let's go off and and, and see whether we can follow it so we followed it for a little while and it it looked as though it was starting to make a way back to where the van was so i thought you know what i'll go grab the one to 400 and just see what we have put the tripod away put everything away went and grabbed the one to 400 stood around for like half an hour no otter at this point, the light appeared, as you can see. Beautiful, beautiful light. But I was now 20 minute walk from that composition that I was so looking at. Thankfully, I don't think it was a, a great composition to begin with. So so I started so just playing around handheld, handheld. Again, I'll fire some of those images up. Um, and then I thought, you know what? We've probably got another 20 minutes or so. So let's wander back out the other way where I was originally and see whether we can set something up. So I've kind of been playing, I, I really wanted to see whether there was anything to be done with the mountain in, in the picture. Find a little sort of outcrop of a sort of a bent tree back here with some nice autumnal color around it. Problem being, um, kind of blue skies above the mountain now, so can't have it all. And I think the best of the direct sort of sunlight, evening light is starting to dissipate now, go behind the far side of the mountains. If anything, I got an image of a, two sheep on the road, which I guess I can sell to the American tourists. Apparently, they love buying pictures of sheep on the island of Mulk, so maybe I've just taken the image that's going to make me millions. <laughs> but, lesson learned. I'm not a I love watching wildlife. I'm not a wildlife photographer. Stick to the landscape, Nigel. Anyway... Given the fact that we had such, such terrible conditions all day, it's not a bad end to the evening. Not a lot of cloud in the sky, so there probably wouldn't have been a great sort of grand vista view, um, but lovely nonetheless. I guess it's never over till it's over type thing. All day, lots and lots and lots of rain, very little in the way of shots, and then we get something. Once again, Scotland, 
and specifically the Isle of Mull delivers. Right, I'm hungry. I'm on cooking duty. I'm going back to make some, well, probably just a complete disaster, but oh well, I'm hungry. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll catch up again soon. Bye-bye.